Hey guys, uh, so for today I'm gonna give you guys a tutorial on finishing your pieces in terms of painting it. Um, and when we say painting, we're actually gonna be breaking it down into three main steps for this. Uh, first things first is going to be priming your piece, um, as well as sanding it down if need be, or right, just to prep it for the paint process. Um, then it'll be the actual spray painting, uh, that's where you start like color testing as well as like double checking whether your paints um, are the right ones, uh, and then finally all right, it'll be uh, sealing it. So for uh, this workshop tutorial, I'm actually going to be using this 3D print over here. Um, I'm not too sure how often, you know, cosplayers may be using 3D printed pieces. It's becoming more common nowadays. Uh, but for this purpose, uh, it's gonna be like a little bit different when it comes to foam. For this piece exactly, all right, this is printed using resin. It's very, very smooth. It's pretty perfect in all honesty. Like I almost see no scuff marks or anything like that. No printed lines either, except for maybe like on the right side over here. You have to prime this. And priming for 3D prints takes a bit of time because you actually need to sand the surface. Um, because it's so smooth, all right, there's less for the paint to actually latch onto. I got these bottles of Plastic Dip. This highly reflective metallic spray paint. First things first, I'm probably going to be sealing it uh, with this Plastic Dip after I sand it down. Now I'm gonna start getting ready for my priming and the thing about it is it's essentially the same as spray painting. Um, you should treat it the same way in terms of safety precautions or otherwise. So what that means is you'll definitely need a respirator, some goggles, um, and you also want to be in a well-ventilated area. I don't really have too much in terms of a well-ventilated area outside of my porch. Um, and even then, I'm really in a small tight spot, so I also try my best to wear some like safety gear. Uh, that being like, you know, an old hoodie that you don't really care about or some old jeans, just something to cover up your skin because you don't want this chemical ridden stuff on your flesh or on your skin. Here's the result of our plastic dipped uh, wolf head medallion. Now, I'm not quite happy with the way that it turned out. Uh, seems as though some of the paint uh, didn't stick onto certain parts of the head, such as there, um, or roughly around here. But to be honest, it's not the biggest deal, uh, mostly because the edges, sort of the edges like along the wolf head are actually supposed to be like a little bit uh, clean or like a little white, um, you know, just from like the amount of use that this thing would probably see. Uh, and not only that, but uh, one other thing that I had an issue with uh, was that I actually got some weird texturing on my piece. Uh, I don't know quite how well this camera could pick that up, but there is a line of bubbles actually going across this way. Um, I'm gonna see if I could potentially flatten it out or rework it, uh, because this thing is meant to be like completely smooth and the thing is um, in order to properly paint this um, I decided to also stay away from the silver spray paint uh, and instead actually go for a dry brush method um, which is basically just taking a uh, silver paint um, dabbing it you know right onto a dry brush and just sort of like poking at it and dabbing all over it as you go that should leave like a nice uh, riddle texture. So, I think I'm pretty much done with the aging and the detailing process on the piece. Uh, it's gonna look a little rough, um, specifically like texture-wise, but that's mostly because of just the paint. Uh, that will all be covered up once I apply the sealant, which is actually going to be a clear acrylic sealant. Uh, this is what the piece looks like so far now. 
uh, with varying levels of colors and shades of silver with black uh, and otherwise. And I have to say it's not too bad. Uh, looking at some of the teeth right there, um, as well as like the tip of the tongue, uh, all the colors like work very well, especially like with the shadows and playing with the light. Um, and so far, pretty satisfied with the piece. Uh, gonna hit it with the sealant to give it that luster and that shine. Uh, hopefully, it turns out well, but we'll see how it goes. Um, at this point, this would be the final step uh, for your painting process, just because once you seal it, there's not really much you can do to get it back. Um, so if you messed up, uh, you could maybe break it down using some paint thinners, but it's an overly complicated process and I honestly think that's just not worth it. Um, but otherwise, uh, I think the piece is ready to go. Ready to get painted as well as properly sealed. Uh, actually, hmm, I think I'm gonna do a few more coats on the back specifically where uh, it just needs more silver. And once that's done, well, I guess that'll basically be it for the piece. So. I'm not really going to record too much about the sealing process because it is the exact same thing when it comes to spray painting. Just hold it about roughly a few feet apart uh, if you don't really know, or right, just go by your forearm's length. Uh, that's usually a good step. And then just go really quickly, uh, one coat, give it a few minutes to dry. People say 30. Um, that might be the best for this piece, just so that I could get the clearest coat possible. Uh, wait 30 minutes, come back, another coat, and you basically repeat that process about three to four times. There we go. That is one Witcher Head Medallion finish.